Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for November 16th, 2021. Well, yesterday we left behind a little bit of uncertainty in the chart. Um, if you remember, I mentioned the possibility of a pop and drop, and that kind of ended up to be correct on the day, leaving behind just a little bit of uncertainty and then that possibility of a lower high. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at what happened yesterday. We left behind just a little bit of a dark cloud here on um, that diamonds chart. And I mentioned yesterday that we had broken um, this upside trend and that we had a little bit of price resistance in the chart to watch out for and that possibility that we could gap up. Um, in the morning and then see a little bit of a pop and drop and that that ended up being the case as we kind of search for direction now one of the reasons I believe that is true is because we have this retail sales number coming out this morning and there is a little bit of uncertainty about that number however as I said yesterday and um, I kind of continue to expect that um, we have seen um, consumers willing to go into record levels of consumer debt um, here recently. So I suspect um, retail sales has come in pretty strongly. And if you take a look at the analysts' expectations, they're looking for an increase in that number today. Now, we've already heard from Home Depot this morning, and Home Depot um, had a good result. But notice we're having a little bit of a mixed reaction here in the pre-market on this pre-market candle here. But that is also helping um, that Dow perk back up. So it is entirely possible that although we did get this little bit of a rest in here, it may just be that, just a simple rest um, or a pause point before we push on through to more record highs. It's also a possibility, guys, that since we've kind of slipped this trend, that we could actually enter a little bit of a consolidating phase here in the market, um, kind of ranging between um, some levels in that chart. Now, if we were to run into a little bit of bearishness, notice that we do have that possibility that we could push back into here. And if we really got going on those that bearish side, the stronger support, is in that area so if the bears were to find some inspiration here this morning in this data that is certainly uh, possible let's take a look at the spy spy also had just a little bit of bearishness coming in but the nasdaq itself qqq did a pretty good job of holding up overall and that helped an awful lot now if we draw this trend Oh, for Pete's sake, my little tool here um, decided to change the tool on its own and change the color. So give me a second. Um, as you can see, we may have slipped beyond that um, very steep upside trend. And we are still being held by that resistance in the chart. However, we're trying to show a little bit of bullishness this morning, trying to push up on that Home Depot earnings. And keep in mind, we still have Walmart earnings to come out yet this morning um, that certainly could move us around so watch that carefully here we're really pushed up against um, that level in here and we have kind of a um, well just that uncertainty that we saw yesterday in the market could we slip into a consolidation if those bears were to find a little bit of um, inspiration we certainly have quite a ways that we could fall into some price support and then the major support is substantially lower than that so we do have to kind of keep our eyes wide open for those possibilities and with earnings starting to fade the number of market moving earnings starting to fade we could start losing some of that overall upside momentum let's take a look at the queues now qqq has held up really really well and although yesterday we had some selling that came in and it was a little bit worrisome there for a little bit what's been interesting is the algorithms in the market seem to have this figured out that when the dow goes up we can sell off the queues 
But when the Dow starts to fall, we immediately see the queues start to rally. And it's usually the big techs that start to rally. So it's like they've got something figured out here. This dance in the algorithms um, institutionally that they can balance the market by pumping these back and forth. But watch this closely. Notice here, once again, we've kind of slipped that trend a little bit. We have resistance above. And I would say that as far as the resistance goes, QQQ has the stronger level of resistance in that chart to be concerned about. And if we were to slip, let's just note that there really is no support, price support, under this level except that little test that we had last week. And that doesn't provide a whole lot of price support. The big, bigger supports all the way down here. So if we were to stumble, that could be a pretty substantial pullback. It is also possible, guys, that what we're going to see is just that resting consolidation here to build a new level of price support. So watch carefully for those circumstances. And then if we take a look at the Russell, IWM had a bearish engulfing candle yesterday. Um, probably the weakest of the indexes out there yesterday, showing that little bit of concern and that possible lower high. However, we have probably one of the best um, technical setups here in the chart for support that we have seen, that we currently see in the current indexes. So if IWM is to pull back and follow through with that bearish engulfing candle, notice that we do have some good price support here in that chart. Um, if we pull back into that area and it wouldn't be out of the question that we would need a little bit of rest in that area if we were to draw this current trend right through here that would suggest we need some time in here to kind of back and fill and relax a little bit in the market so watch carefully for that potential as well let's take a look at the VIX now that VIX early in the day was going up and right at the end of the day, and I mean right at the end of the day, we had a major surge of buying come in. If I jump over here to the diamonds and go to a five minute chart, take a look right there at the end of the day. That is dark pool activity rushing into the market. As a matter of fact, we had almost more volume in the last 10 minutes of the day than we experienced throughout most of our trading day. And that is that influence of the dark pool activity being consolidated to the market. So what's interesting about that, guys, is that we had a change in that VIX right at the end of the day where we were looking a little bit uh, we had a white candle there. We were looking a little bit bullish on the VIX. And right at the end of the day, they reversed that and changed it. Now, having said that, let's notice that we've got a little price resistance right here in that chart. We've rejected that price resistance at the moment. We have price support right here in that chart. And we still run that possibility of a little bit higher low if those bears were to find inspiration. If those bulls can find the inspiration, and I'm going to lean that direction today because of um, the retail sales, then we should see this continue to slip and maybe come back down here and test this support level in the chart. Let's take a look at our T21. Oh, oops, T2122. Our T2122, um, whoops is the four week new high new low ratio and what's interesting about t2122 is it really doesn't tell us the direction of the market it's it's not it's not meant for that it just tells us when we're overbought or oversold and we were overbought we held up here overbought for quite some time and now we're kind of drifting down here toward that mid range now if we get that bullish inspiration today we certainly have upside opportunity before we reach oversold condition again but let's keep in mind um, where we are if we were to find bearish inspiration we have about an equal chance of moving to the downside so we'll want to watch that carefully here depending on how these numbers come out, how we react to those numbers, how inflation and all of those things continue to impact the market. So um, watch that closely. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 had a little bit of a pullback yesterday, but the good news is, is we're holding this little uptrend. So the percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average, and that's important because we need these to hold up. It's going to be really hard to continue to lift the market up if we can't get these stocks out um, out of the you know the bottom 
Um, we got to get them lifted up and you can see we've pushed those up. We're holding up in here about 48%, 49% of the stocks uh, total are above their 200 day moving average. So that's an improvement and we need that to hold up here if we're going to continue to rally. If that were to sink and if we were to lose that trend, that could be a problem for us in the market. And then let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101, we're down here scraping the bottom of the ocean again um, in that indicator, um, which makes me worry just a little bit about momentum. Um, with the U.S. dollar on the rise, and the U.S. dollar has been rising pretty substantially here recently, with the U.S. dollar on the rise, it raises that question of risk off. And if we have that risk off um, idea coming in the market, we may struggle with this momentum. Now, keep in mind that we can continue to wind around down here. And I'm not going to become terribly uh, concerned about this unless we pop out of that downtrend and actually hold the higher low. That's where I think we may be running. We may run into that market top situation in the market. So watch that carefully and then let's take a look at our um, 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 t2108 and i continue to bring this up because i think it is important this is the percentage of stocks above their 40-day moving average now i know everybody looks at the 50 but that's where the indicators calculated on the 40. and i keep pointing this out and notice we had a little pullback in this the number of stocks above their 40-day moving average. 63% of the stocks are above the 40-day, and that's nice. But what we want to notice is that we're near record highs, and that is way fewer stocks than when we set record highs back here at the uh, beginning of the year. And it's a lot fewer stocks than when we were back here mid-year last year. So we're getting fewer and fewer market leaders able to push us to those record highs, which means we have a little bit of a bubble forming in specific stocks. And we want to watch that carefully because if they start to sell off, there could be um, a, um, a substantial decline in that situation. So watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, we've got... That retail sales number coming out here right before the open, we'll want to pay attention to that. That's definitely a market mover. Analysts are suggesting an increase in those retail sales, an improvement. And I think they're probably going to be right on that. It's just a guess, but I think there's a good chance they could be right on that. And that's just simply because we have seen consumer debt soar. We went from a, a country that had a huge amount of savings during the pandemic to a, um, a nation that has record high consumer debt. So kind of keep an eye on that. I think everybody is spending um, whether they can keep doing that um, going forward with the pressures of inflation. That's to be in question. We have an import export prices here. Um, um, we'll want to keep an eye on that. And then we have that industrial production number here at uh, 915. Remember, industrial production uh, last time was a little bit disappointing, but we ignored it. And this time they're suggesting that it should show an improvement. So if it does show an improvement, we probably won't ignore that. We'll probably use that as a bullish move. And then business inventories, housing market index, and of course we've got a bunch of Fed speakers out there yakking away about inflation and what they're planning to do. Treasury internationals at the end of the day, doubt that that makes any difference for us. Keep in mind that tomorrow as you're planning forward, we've got housing starts and permits and petroleum status on Wednesday. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar really dramatically declined in numbers. Um, less than, uh, I think it was like 44 companies on the list today um, reporting. So we have dropped dramatically and that's likely going to continue to just kind of slowly dribble out now through the end of the quarter as those earnings wind down. So we can lose some inspiration here on the market in that circumstance. Now, 
having said that, we do have, you know, just a few of those notables to pay attention to today. And if you go over, and by the way, this is the back side of the website. You can go over here to the morning blog. You'll see that I have listed those notable reports for today. So you'll want to pay attention to that. And if you want to catch those notable reports, um, just click the link just below the title of the video and that'll take you back to the morning blog. But of course, we know we've got Home Depot moving today. It looks like it's trying to gain a little bit more ground as we go along. We're going to hear from Walmart this morning. It looks like we're getting a little boost there. Maybe the earnings are out right now. And um, if we take a look, we're going to have um, earnings from SE. Nice bullish move there on SE. Um, we're going to hear from Lazy Boy. I think Lazy Boy is after the bell. Keep an eye on that. NTES is also reporting today. Looks like we're gapping a little pop and drop maybe on that one this morning. STNE. Um, will um, is also on that list so keep an eye on those we have a number of notables but uh, by and large not a big group of market movers just that Home Depot and Walmart um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys well you know what to do if this is the first time you've seen these videos if this is the first time you've seen them please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be worthy if you could please click that subscribe I mean that thumbs up button leave a brief comment and also it's the engagement that makes a difference in in this so if you engage in the video by leaving a comment or commenting on other folks' comments, um, all of that helps to grow the channel. And we're, we're growing. We're, uh, we're approaching 28,050 subscribers. So we're moving toward that, um, excuse me, 24,850. Um, we're getting close to that 25,000 level. And I'll be giving away one of those personally carved trees um, or another ornament or something else um, once we reach that number so thank you everyone who supports the channel I truly appreciate that and then also just a huge shout out to those folks that continue to support the channel through buy me a coffee link it's right below the title of the video so please if you aren't a member of right way options or hit and run candlesticks um, and you want to support this kind of content that's a way to do that so let's take a look at um, some stock setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, I would uh, caution you to understand the risk of the trade and make sure that it follows your trading style and your setups. Now, keep in mind, guys, um, you should never, ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. All right. So let's take a look. Take a look at... Um, Take a look at LUMN. LUMN, we've seen um, an interesting decline in a lot of telecoms. You know, Visa, I mean, not Visa, but Verizon and AT&T are uh, stinking up the charts big time. But if you take a look at LUMN, boy, big surge here on its earnings report. And there really hasn't been much of a sell um, in that. Now, I do think this will have to consolidate a little bit more. But I think it might be worth keeping an eye on this and watching it um, on that chart for that possibility that that could move on through to the upside here eventually. Worth keeping an eye on. You guys know that I mentioned Plug yesterday and Plug started up and then pulled back. But I still think this is a very, very good pattern and it could be just setting up for that next upside move if we can hold this price support and that opportunity that could push on through to the upside. So keep an eye on Plug looking pretty darn good in that chart if you guys remember i talked about ford yesterday and ford perked up um, yesterday looking pretty good now it is kind of extended in the short term meaning that it's run a long ways and it may need a little bit more rest here just to come back to trend but i do think there is that opportunity that ford could perk on up and move on through to some more highs there's a lot seems to be quite a lot of support for that chart at the moment now one thing i thought was interesting yesterday is there was a um a, a significant increase in um, defensive sector stocks picking up now the reason that's important guys is this this may be a hint 
a little hint of a rotation where folks may be um, realizing that um, a lot of stocks are overextended and there may be that look of picking up a little bit of safety. Take a look at Clorox yesterday. Clorox breaking this downtrend, pushing to the upside. We held support. Oh boy, yesterday it got inspired here big time. And if we take a look, that's one of those rounded bottom breakout patterns breaking above the 50. So any rest or pullback in there would set up an opportunity in that chart. And by the way, guys, if you have not signed up for my, my uh, partner's class on the round of bottom breakout, I highly recommend that you do that. Get over there to hitruncandlesticks.com and sign up for that class. You won't regret it. It's a great pattern for trading. So um, when we take a look at CLX, there's also quite a few in that defensive sector that is starting to show some bullishness. So let's take a look. Um, we saw a move here in Altria yesterday. Now Altria is nowhere near a potential buy in my opinion, but we saw that move up. We also saw Philip Morris trying to push up into its downtrend, wanting to break through and possibly make a move to the upside. We um, um, have seen Mondelez, Mondelez moving up. This is a nice Divi pair here. This is the forward yield. And you can see this nice Divi pair moving up and holding support in the chart. Um, how about Constellation Brands? Constellation Brands, big spike here recently, moving up strongly. Any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity in that chart. So keep a close eye on that chart. Now, talking about defensive sector, we, we, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about um, these metals again. Let's take a look at FCX. Um, FCX has held up really, really strong, popped through a major resistance area in the chart. Notice we broke through and now we're trying to rest up here. So if we can hold this area up here and show that bullishness, you might want to see if we can consolidate engage this trend and get ready to move on through to the upside. Keep a close eye on FCX. We know the president signed that infrastructure bill. So there would be some reason that um, some of these commodity type things could move up. Now the challenge on these is that we have seen the US dollar moving higher. US dollar continues to move higher. That will affect negatively affect all commodities. So kind of keep an eye on that. There may be a balancing act here going on. And this is another one of those clues of potential risk off that we may want to start looking for a little bit of safety in the market. But that said, um, when we look at FCX, that's a very good pattern. I also um, think this pattern in silver is looking pretty darn good. Notice we're holding this neckline break of this uh, inverted head and shoulders pattern. We're holding that comfortably. It seems like we want to hold this up to the upside. So let's watch for that next opportunity that this may move on through. Um, gold is also showing lots of strength and gapping higher this morning. Now, sometimes that means for gold when we gap up, we see selling the rest of the day. So I wouldn't want to chase it. But this is a big break here of some resistance in the chart. And notice that we're trying, if I were to draw a trend line here, we've even broken that longer term trend line down in that chart. So any rest or consolidation in here that holds would set up that opportunity in gold. A little bit of fear of inflation out there in the market. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a wonderful day in your trading. I want to wish you great results and great profits. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.